Welcome to SS2K channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button and hit all so that you will be updated regarding the latest updates. The content of this video is taken from available sources such as but not limited to the internet and the author of this video does not represent any person or organization which will be presented. This is presented for educational purposes only and yours truly do not claim the ownership of the uh, content. And the topic that will be discussed in this video presentation ladies and gentlemen is uh, about uh, forensic ballistics. And this is already the uh, third uh, video for uh, this uh, subject. So let us start by answering the few questions that I have prepared uh, for you. So let's proceed to question number one. Rifflings located inside the barrel of a gun is a combination of rifflings located inside the barrel of a gun is a combination of letter A, land and land. Bravo, Land and Twist, Charlie, Pitch and Twist, and Delta, Lands and Groups. And of course, the answer for this question is Delta. No? Yung pong Reef Links. Okay? Ay combination ng Lands and Groups. Okay? And uh, its function is uh, of course to uh, ensure the uh, gyroscopic stability of the bullet while on flight okay yan so yung pong uh, land yun nga po yung race portion sa bore no at yung pong grooves yung po yung cuts doon po sa bore ng firearm okay yung po yung nagiiwan ng uh, marka na napakalalaki doon po sa bullet na kung tawagin po yung landmarks at saka yung pong uh, group marks okay yan and uh, next question po tayo muscle uh, blast is uh, the sound created at the muscle end of the gun because of yung pong maalingaw-ngaw na putok yung pong tinatawag nating muscle blast no Yan. So, ano kaya ang uh, cost nun? Diba? Letter A, uh, the sudden escape of the bullet. Uh, bravo, absence of silencer or uh, sound suppressor. Uh, Charlie, because of mechanism of the firearm used to propel the bullet. And Delta, the sudden escape of expanding gas when it comes to instant contact with the uh, air no? at uh, yun nga pong muscle blast or yung pong sound na nakikreate mga kapangarap kapag ka ikaw po yung nagpaputok ng baril ang cause po nun ay yung pong delta okay? the uh, muscle blast is being created no? because of the sudden escape of expanding gas when uh, it uh, comes to instant contact with the air Okay, bakit kaya nagkakaroon ng malakas na tunog? Dahil po sa biglaang paglabas ng pong mainit na hangin o yung pong expanding uh, uh, gas no? na galing po doon po sa nasunog na pulbura. At alam naman natin na kapag ka ang mainit na hangin ay naihalo doon po sa malamig na hangin sa labas, then nag-create po yon ng tunog na kung tawagin po ay muscle blast. Okay? Yan. Ah, kaya nga po kapag ka po yung pong tiyan nyo ay medyo may hangin na kung saan yung hangin po ay uh, mainit no? dahil nasa loob ng tiyan tapos bigla mong inilabas sa puwit mo diba? nabay tumutunog po yun kahit wala pong bullet why? because of the sudden escape of uh, expanding gas yung pong heated gas okay? so tatandaan nyo po yun ang putok po ay bigla ang paghalo ng mainit na hangin doon po sa malamig na hangin Kaya po yung sound suppressor ay meron pong butas-butas po yun, no? Para unti-unti pong lalabas po yung hangin. Hindi po minsanan para uh, mas, uh, uh, mas mahina yung pong uh, tunog na makikreate, no? Ganun po yun. Okay? 
So kung makikita natin, yung sound suppressor ay parang yung muffler lang ng mga sasakyan na imamuffle yung sound para mas uh, uh, humina yung pong uh, tunog, yung pong uh, pagputok. No? Meron pa rin tunog, pero uh, mahinang mahina lang. No? Because the uh, air no? uh, escape na paunti-unti, pautay-utay yung pong pag-escape ng pong hangin. Yung po yung gamit po ng sound suppressor. Okay? Pagka nilagyan yung dulo naman ng uh, uh, unan, for example, uh, yung pa rin ay medyo mahina yung pong tunog dahil uh, unti-unti pong lalabas yung pong uh, uh, expanded gas or yung pong heated gas kung tawagin. Okay? Yung po yung kwento tungkol po sa tinatawag natin na muzzle blast, ladies and Gentlemen, okay? Next question. The actual pattern or curved path traveled by the bullet in flight is called letter A, a range, bravo, velocity, Charlie trajectory, and delta is penetration. So the actual uh, Pattern or curve path traveled by the bullet in flight. Ano ang tawag po natin doon? That is Charlie. Yun po yung tinatawag pong trajectory. Okay? Yun po yung actual curve path ng bullet na kung saan kapag ka maaabot yung tinatawag ng maximum range, no? ay makikita na hindi po diretso yung pong pattern ng bullet kundi ito po ay parabolic. Okay? Yan, parang parabola, no? That is the trajectory of uh, the uh, bullet. Okay. Then, uh, we have uh, range. Ano nga ba yung range, ladies and gentlemen? Range is the uh, straight uh, distance from the uh, muzzle of the firearm to the uh, target. Okay? Yung pong diretso, no? Uh, na distansya mula doon sa dulo ng bungangan ng barrel. Hanggang doon po sa target, yung po tinatawag na range. At dalawa pong klase yan, meron tayong accurate range. Wherein you have still control over your shots. Then yung pong maximum range, yung pong pinakamalayong mararating ng bala. No? Then velocity is the speed of bullet while on flight. At nahahati ka nga po yan no? sa uh, tatlong klase. Meron kang initial velocity. Meron ding uh, muzzle velocity at saka yung nga pong uh, tinatawag na terminal uh, velocity. Speed of bullet lahat yon no? Pagka nasa loob ng baril, initial velocity. Kumbaga yun po yung buwelo. Ibig sabihin, kapag ka po uh, uh, mas marami yung pong ikot nung pong rifflings nung po sa loob, then mas um, malaki yung buwelo. Kaya nga po, no? Pagka yung pong barrel po ay mas mahaba, kung makikita nyo, mas malayo din po yung pong nararating nung uh, tingga dahil sa kadahilan ng mas uh, malayo po yung buwelo okay? nung tingga. Mm -hmm. Kaya kung titingnan nyo, pagka yung, po, yung pong barrel ay mahaba, no? ay malayo rin ang nararating nung tingga because of initial velocity kung tawagin. Okay? Yan. Then... Uh, Uh, yung pong penetration, no? yung po yung depth of entry of the bullet on the uh, target po. No? Yan. So, tatandaan nyo po yung uh, uh, trajectory no? at saka yung range kasi marami pong nalilito doon. Yung pong actual curve path traveled by the bullet while in flight is called trajectory while the straight distance no? from the muzzle to the target is called as range. Okay? So, uh, kung makikita niyo po dito sa ating uh, illustration, no? uh, pinakamalayo daw na mararating yung pong uh, uh, barrel kapag, uh, or yung pong tingga kapag uh, uh, yung pong angle nung barrel ay uh, 45 degrees uh, angle. Okay, 45 degrees angle. Okay, so makikita niyo po doon po sa uh, illustration natin. Okay. Kaya po ko pagka meron pong mga snipers at uh, yung po uh, sadyang pang malayuan ay uh, dalawa po yung magkasama palagi, no? Yung pong spotter, yung pong taga-calculate ng pong hangin, no? Yung pong air resistance 
uh, para makita niya yung lakas at yung speed po nung uh, target kung yung target po yung moving target okay at saka yung trigger man yung trigger man yung po yung taga kalabit yung pong spotter siya po yung taga kalkula nung pong speed ng uh, bullet yung speed ng target at saka yung pong uh, uh, air resistance para sa itong magsalubong po yung tinga at saka yung pong uh, target okay So, uh, yun po yung dahilan kung bakit meron pong spotter, ladies and gentlemen, sa mga long range sa uh, sniping, no? Yan. Next question po tayo. In terminal ballistics, if the grouping is smaller, the better the accuracy. This statement is, letter A, uh, true, bravo, false, Charlie, partly true, and delta, partly false. Uh, in terminal ballistics, if the grouping is smaller, the better the accuracy. Pagka mas maliit ba yung grouping mo, mas maganda ang iyong accuracy. No? Yan. And the statement is true. Totoo po yan. Okay? Uh, example, meron ka pong target. No? At uh, uh, meron kang tatlong tingga. Okay? Yung isa tumama sa ulo, yung isa tumama sa tiyan. Uh, yung isa ay uh, tumama sa paa ng target. Okay? So, uh, ulo, no? chan at saka paa. Yung pong pangalawang shooter ay uh, puro paa yung tama. Lumbo sa paa yung tama. Saan sa dalawa, yung pong mas maganda yung grouping. Okay? Yung pong puro sa paa yung tama dahil uh, uh, mas malalapit po yung kanyang... Uh, Uh, grouping okay, Mas maliit po yung kanyang grouping Kapag ka biniligan mo Ibig sabihin, yung pong tumama sa ulo Sa chan, no, ay chamba lamang yun Okay Yun naman tumama lahat sa paa Magkakalapit yung pong kanyang grouping And ang problema lang po doon Ay yung pong sight Nung pong kanyang uh, Barrel na ginagamit no? So tandaan nyo po yun mga kapangarap Sa terminal accuracy Di uh, Uh, grouping of the bullet no if the grouping is smaller then the accuracy is better okay so pwede po kayong uh, uh, manood no pong uh, tungkol po sa terminal accuracy sa shooting no so, makikita niyo po doon kung ano po yung terminal accuracy yan no kaya nga sabi ko no Sa unang video natin, nakapagka ikaw po ay tumama sa girlfriend mo, no? Tatlong beses mong uh, uh, tatlong beses mong ginamit yung iyong barrel at nabuntis mo, maganda yung accuracy mo. Eka nga, no? Dahil uh, maganda yung grouping kaya uh, nabuo agad, okay? Yan. So, kidding aside, ladies and gentlemen, uh, take note that uh, the uh, uh, better The accuracy if your uh, grouping is uh, is smaller, okay? Next question. The speed of bullet upon striking the target, which is expressed in feet per second or meter per second, is called as the speed of bullet upon striking the target, which is expressed in feet per second, is called as letter A terminal penetration, Bravo terminal accuracy. Uh, Charlie terminal velocity and delta is terminal energy. Okay? Ano ba yung speed ng bullet? Pag tama sa target, ang tawag po doon ay terminal velocity. Yung pong bilis, ano nga pong tingga, pagka tumama sa target, gaano kabilis niyang bubutasin yung target. No? Yan. Uh, pagka yung pong uh, uh, bullet, ay uh, pointed na uh, mas maganda yung kanyang velocity. Okay? Pero, no? Pagka naman uh, round nose o kaya naman ay wad cutter, hindi nga maganda yung velocity, medyo mas mabagal, no? Pero malakas naman yung kanyang terminal energy, no? So, ano yung terminal penetration? Terminal penetration is the depth of entry of the bullet upon striking the target. Yan po ay tumutukoy sa lalim ng pagbaon ng pong bala. Okay? At uh, kung pointed nga yung bala ay mas malalim po yun Kung bumaon or mas mabilis din no? Yung po sa velocity mas mabilis bumaon At the same time mas malalim yung kanyang penetration 
And terminal accuracy is the grouping of bullet upon striking the target. And yung nga pong terminal energy, it is the energy of the bullet upon striking the target. Yung pong lakas niya, yung pong knocking power, kung tawagin, yung po yung terminal energy. So tatandaan niyo po mga kapatid, yung pong PAVE, no? yung pong terminal penetration, terminal accuracy, terminal velocity, and terminal energy. Okay, hanggang dito lamang ang video presentation na ito or video presentation na ito. Kita-kita ulit tayo sa susunod na video presentation. Thank you very much and God bless you all.